Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Howie Coro. Today's video is gonna be part three of Raising the Steel. And before we get into it, I wanna give you a little context behind this video. I gotta say, this video was a very terrifying moment. Um, I literally almost flipped the machine over. It was very scary looking back at this video now and uh, I'd probably never do it the way you will see here again. Um, as you can see here, there's a slight incline going into the building. And what happened was when I pulled the actual uh, forklift up to it, it was kind of uneven ground and I shifted the load and literally almost made this thing come over on top of me. It was very scary. The wheel lifted. I felt the machine shift and you will see in the footage here that it was uh, a very scary moment. So learn from me. Don't do something like that. Be very careful. Uh, I'm just glad I got through it. But yeah, enjoy the video, check it out, leave a comment, like it, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy.
Well, as you just saw, we just wrapped up day eight. And uh, not gonna lie, that A-frame kicked our ass. But we did get it up. It was the last hard lift of the building as far as the main steel goes. So I'm kind of excited that the hard part, or at least that part, is over. It was very challenging. And uh, there it is. I can say all the uprights, all the A-frames are up now. So it's definitely starting to look like a building. But man, that kicked our ass. Um, so what we did today, day eight, day eight and a half, whatever you want to call it, we got the A-frame up, we got two purlins up, and the center upright that will tie in the main overhead door, man door, some windows, the whole front side of the building. And then we got a couple purl purlins in the roof to tie that together. And uh, yeah, we got the rest of the purlins tied in the back side as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like we got um, a crazy amount done, but we definitely got some critical stuff done today. Uh, I'm glad to say this whole back end is at least upside down. I still have to fix the upright, and I uh, still need to track track down one of the girts. But um, yeah, man, it's a good day. So I'll take it as a win. As a win. That's right, day eight and a half. And uh, keep in mind, there's only two of us doing this. Me and Jason, only ones doing this uh, steel erection, and we're both both new, first time doing this. So it's definitely a, a learning curve and challenging, but uh, rewarding, very rewarding, seeing things uh, go up and making progress. <laughs> Like leverage? I need the wood to keep the plates from compressing so I can still get an angle with the uh, spike in order to fly over. Gotcha. Alright, so you want 2x4? 2x4 if you have something, yeah. How long? I just need a little piece just to, as big as one of those plates. So Alright, roger that. Alright, so one of the challenges we're facing right now is the center beam is twisted. And I'll show you, hopefully the sun doesn't as he goes up, it twists. And one of the reasons why I think it's twisting is because there's so many girts coming off this wall because the way I'm building the building and using boards, they put so many girts going on the face of these buildings uh, that there was a lot of welding. And when there's a lot of welding, there's warpage. So you can see how warped that beam is going all the way up. So now we have to untwist it. But the problem is we're trying to set the girts up on the brackets on the rafters and uh, the other brackets off the center of the column here are off. So we're going to get some uh, come-alongs and ratchet straps and try to straighten this, straighten this thing out. <sighs> Nothing's easy. But, um, yeah, kind of disappointed because um, you can tell uh, when they weld this thing, they just welded up these brackets or these little gusset plates off this bracket and didn't really let the metal cool or didn't, you know, fixture this when they did weld it. Um, so, yeah, from my experience, obviously, you know, you got to let the welds cool, you got to fixture this when you do weld a bunch of brackets on there, and they didn't. So it's poor quality and craftsmanship on their part from the manufacturer, once again. Kind of disappointed, because uh, to be honest, the welds are really shitty as well. And uh, you can just tell there was excess, excessive heat on that when they made it and it put a twist in the column. So now we have to fix it, once again. 
Um, yeah, funny thing is, uh, when I talked to the manufacturer and they said, uh, on the other upright where I gotta fix the base plate, I was gonna cut it off, flip it and re-weld it, and the guy says, I'm not qualified to weld it, and they won't warranty the building if I weld it. Funny thing is, I don't think there's a weld on here that's better than mine, so um, it's just kind of a laughing joke that you know I can't weld on my own building when I can weld better than any of these welds on here, but that's another story. So yeah, we're going to deal with another manufacturer uh, defect as far as um, the warpage goes and uh, try to get this front of the building at least flush so when I sheathe it, everything looks pretty good. So. A little more time than I, I, I wish it would take, but you know, it's just another challenge that we have to adapt and overcome. Wish it was easier, an easier way, but there's not. So. Well, <clears throat> the rain is coming down, and I think the rain is going to end our day. But it's okay. We've got nine hours in today after working a 24-hour shift. Oh, man. I apologize. It is so hot and steamy still out here. Um, fighting this weather still. Uh, but yeah, we're done for the day. We got nine hours in after working 24 hours and pretty much spent. Um, we got the front wall done. There was many, many challenges on this wall. There was tons and tons of brackets. A lot of metal was twisted and uh, just didn't line up correctly. So we had to make it work. Um, but yeah, we took our time. We had to get through the challenges and we did. So we got the front wall up and uh, it's looking good. So hopefully next this weekend I'm gonna do the bay windows, or I should say the windows for the bay uh, over here. And um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm tired. I can't really talk. My mind is spent, and it's raining once again. So I'm gonna call it a day and uh, get back on it again tomorrow. All right, see you then.